Okay, we're gonna make yogurt today. You take some good old vitamin D milk. Whole milk is the best way. You can use other kinds, but that's one that I've always used and it works great. You put it in eight cups, eight cups of milk. You put it into your saucepan, into a big one, and you turn it on about almost on high, but don't want to burn it. So just keep it on about eight. I use a handy dandy thermometer so I can keep track of my temperature because what you want to do is you want to raise the temperature of the milk to 180 degrees. And on my thermometer, it actually has a red mark. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, we're going to get it to 180 degrees. You want to kind of stir it while it's warming. You don't want the milk to stick to a pan. See how long it takes. It's 7.30. We're going to warm this until it gets to 180 degrees. See how long it takes. Okay, it's been nine minutes and we're about halfway there. We're up to 140 degrees. Okay, we have reached 180 degrees. And as you can see, it's starting to steam and get foam bubbles around the side. So now we're gonna turn off our heat and it's been 18 minutes, so it didn't take long. I put my pot of warm milk into a big bowl of ice water to cool it off. So now what you want to do is you want to just sit there and watch the temperature go from 180 to 110 or thereabouts. We'll see what time it is. It's 749. We'll see how long it takes. And a little bit of ice and water. While we're waiting for our milk to cool off, we're going to take out some plain whole milk yogurt, not Greek yogurt, just regular yogurt with no ingredients added, just plain, no vanilla or strawberry. And we're gonna take one cup of it out and we will just put it back in this handy dandy bowl that we used already before. So now we've got our one cup of plain yogurt in our bowl. And as soon as our milk cools off to 110 degrees, we're going to take two cups of that and add it to our regular yogurt. And we're gonna mix it up until it's consistent, consistently, consistent to smooth. Okay, it's 7.58 and our milk is cooled off to 110 degrees. So now we can move it out of the pot, two cups of it, and put it into our bowl. Okay, after you've taken out two cups and put it in your bowl, you wanna take your whisk and mix it all up until it's a good consistency, there's no lumps, until it's mixed up. It only takes about a minute. Next, pour your mixture back into your milk mix milk milk in the pan and then whisk that up so it's all combined and you're done You just take your handy dandy Euro Cuisine yogurt maker which comes with this nice little bowl and you pour this into there and then pour that into that and then you put your lid on it here 
this lid on here and plug it in. It takes eight hours and your yogurt is done. Okay, I got my milk in my cup and my yogurt maker. I put my lid on it. Plugged in the unit. Put my lid on it. And in eight hours, my milk will be yogurt. And it's now eight o'clock. So, at four in the morning, yogurt will be ready. But you don't have to, you don't have to worry, you can stay longer. And that is how I made yogurt using my Euro Cuisine yogurt maker. Okay, our yogurt has been sitting in the machine for eight hours, plugged in. And after that, I took it out and I put this in the refrigerator for eight hours. And now it's ready to eat. Let's look at it. When you first take the lid off, be careful because there's water that comes pouring off of it. You don't want to get that in your yogurt. And this is what it looks like. Yum. Stir it up. It's perfect. Nice and creamy. If you want it thicker, you can put it in a cotton bag and let it drain for a few hours and it will eventually become like cheese. It'll get so thick. There is a cotton bag that comes with this and it's very simple to use. There you go. Yogurt made by Deb.